Hello everyone, this is Dr. Carolyn Maria, working as an assistant professor in Loyola College of Education, Chennai. The title of the course is Educational Psychology, in which we are going to see Unit 1. This is part 2 video lecture, which is going to talk about the phases of development and the developmental tasks of infancy, childhood and adolescence. Let's see how life begins. We all know that life starts with a single cell and the fetus develops and the fetus changes into baby, child, adolescent, adult, old age. Let's now focus on the different life stages. It is otherwise called as phases of development. From birth to one year, it is called as infancy, one to six year old early childhood, six to 12 year old late childhood, 13 to 19, teen, teen, all teenagers is called adolescence. 20 to 40 years early adulthood. 40 to 65 years middle adulthood. 65 years till death, the period is called as late adulthood or old age. Let's focus on what happens in each stage. 0 to 1 year, the life stage is called as infancy stage. Language of the newborn baby is to cry and smile. Only these two things the child knows. Child usually eats every two to three hours and the child is toothless. Uncoordinated movements could be seen in these kind of children. They have a poor vision at the time of birth and they could focus a range between 8 to 12 inches. Usually double the weight by 6 to 7 months and triple the weight by one year. These children respond to human voice and touch. Two month old baby needs assistance for everything, zero to two months. But six month old baby can sit alone in a tripod position. Eight month old baby can sit without support and engage in play. Nine month old baby can crawl. One year old baby can stand independently from a crawling position. 13 month old, the child can walk toddle quickly, neither walk nor run. 15 month old baby can run. The stage between 2 to 12 years is called childhood stage. It could be divided into early childhood and late childhood. 2 to 6 years early childhood, 6 to 12 years late childhood. There is a change from plumpy baby to the learner and more muscular toddler begins to walk and talk at this kind of stage. And the child begins to communicate verbally. Sentences are more complex and they speak well enough for the strangers even to understand. They play side by side with other children. They are great imitators. At this age, they want to be just like their parents or like their teachers. Imagination is very clear at this stage. There will be a fine line between what is real and what is imaginary which is often indistinct. They develop a lot of fear at this age. Common fears like fear of darkness, fear of animals, fear of death, all these kind of fears would be there in these kind of children. Then the next stage is called as adolescent stage. It is a traumatic life stage. Here the puberty occurs. That gives a lot of tension and pressure to this teenage students. Extremely concerned with appearance, you could see them most of the time standing before the mirror. Even many are even now still continuing their adolescent stage. They try to establish their self-identity. Whatever they do, they want to be the first. And they even have a lot of perplexed physical changes. Because like, you know, hormonal changes, their height, weight keeps changing. Hormonal changes will go for a lot of bodily changes. They may be having a lot of confusion with regard to all that. And they'll be having a heightened self-consciousness. Most of the time, they would be bothering about what others are thinking about them. And there will be a sort of urge towards the intensification. Whatever is happening in this world, they want to know what it is. And they go for a lot of adventurous activities during this time. They want to go for bike racing and they want to try all the other activities, whatever is done by the adults. They always crave for independence. Whenever they are given any pocket money, they don't want to give an account of it. 
and peer group relationship is more than the family relationship and this is the stage they uh, need a lot of support and guidance with regard to their vocation vocational choice they need a lot of guidance and support from the elders most of the time they aspire for leadership for everything they come forward and they want to take up the lead the next stage is the middle age here the physical development is almost complete emotional maturity starts continuing in this age and usually they learn to accept their responsibility their action and they accept even the criticism but when you consider this adolescent period though that period they may not uh, much accept their uh, criticism they everything they come forward and they defend but the middle age they accept all the criticism usually knows about their uh, errors and they learn from their error they learn from experiences usually they progress from age related peer group people to peer group people those who are having similar interests adolescent period the children the students will be having peer group relationship as strong but here middle age the ones those who are having similar uh, interests they all join together and they form a group and the physical changes begin to occur like hair begins to thin and gray wrinkles appear hearing and vision decreases and muscle tone also they will lose and they are main concerned about the their children their health job security aging parent fear of aging and all that and love and acceptance still take a major role with regard to this may old in middle age then we focus on old age that is from 60 years till death here the fastest growing age bracket of society because in society you could see so many people those who are in this old age physical deterioration starts with regard to their bone with regard to their eye and hand coordination with regard to their vision hearing problem all that they come across with some may suffer with the memory problems and coping with the retirement and forms of entertainment is also a big question mark for them very concerned with their health and health and finances and significant number of people may become depressed because of losing their life partner and because of uh, their despair with regard to their family and with regard to their occupation and all and suicide rate is high in this age so uh, all people should take much care of this old age people they should have a proper plan for their old age now we we can focus on the developmental task developmental task is a task which arises at a period of life for of an individual successful achievement of the developmental task leads to the happiness and success with, with the later task but failure with regard to the developmental task leads to unhappiness and difficulty with the further task for an example a child comes out of the mother with the normal delivery is a developmental task of a child and the uh, th third month the child has to turn upside down and the for sixth month onward the child has to start crawling and eighth month the child should sit on its own one year the child has to stand on its own by one and a half year the child has to walk run on its own so each thing is what called as the developmental task so when uh, the, a child is not able to do the developmental task of one age it will be having difficulty with the further developmental task it is different for different developmental period and the critical age is an age at which the social group expects the members to master over the developmental task of that age that is each age every person is expected to overcome their developmental task one and a half year old child should stand on its own if the child is unable to stand then there is a developmental problem which needs to be addressed by a physician the developmental task of infancy and early childhood learning to walk to take solid food to talk to control the elimination of body waste is all these are the developmental task of this age group of students learning uh, gender differences when they go to school they'll be segregated you know boys toilet girls toilet girls are expected to sit here boys are expected to sit there so this kind of gender differences they come across with and achieving physiological stability and forming simple concepts of social and physical reality learning to relate one self emotionally to the parents siblings and others learning to distinguish between right and wrong is a great developmental task of the early childhood and developing their conscience that is to know and become aware of what they are doing mindfully developmental task of later childhood 
which starts from 6 to 12 years. Learning the physical skills which are necessary for ordinary games. Building wholesome attitude towards oneself as a growing organism. Learning to get along with the age mate. Developing fundamental skills in reading, writing and calculating. Developing concepts necessary for everyday living. And developing attitude towards social group. These are the developmental tasks of adolescence. Accepting one's own physique and accepting masculine and feminine role is a developmental task. In this age only they come to understand whether they are a male or a female or a transgender. Establishing new relations with age mates. Gaining emotional independence from parents and other, other adults. Achieving assurance of economic independence. Selecting and preparing for an occupation. Developing intellectual skills and concepts. Desiring and achieving socially responsible behavior. Preparing for marriage and family life. Developmental task of adulthood 20 to 40 years. Selecting a life partner. Entering into family life. Getting children, rearing them up and getting into an occupation and profession is a developmental task for them. For the middle-aged people, shouldering the family and social responsibilities, acquiring economic stability in life, providing guidance to one's own adolescent children, getting adjusted with one's old age parent. Let's see the developmental task of old age. Accepting the decrease in one's own capability with regard to their vision with regard to their hearing and with regard to their memory is a great developmental task of old age and withstanding the loss of one's life partner and developing the positive attitude towards the leisure time and relaxation is a great task for the old age people they should have a proper planning for their old age now what is the role of a teacher to overcome the developmental task to help the students as a teacher, we are expected to equip our students with necessary basic skills age-wise at elementary, secondary, high secondary, higher education levels to lead a successful life. Educationists should also take special care in designing the curriculum to provide various opportunities for the students with regard to curricular and co-curricular activities and developing the all-round personalities in students. To understand the individual differences and plan the task according to the age limit of the students. Some key takeaways from this video lecture are Life starts with a single cell and proceeds to various stages from infancy to old age. Developmental task is a task which arises at the period in the life of every individual. Successful achievement of which leads to its happiness and success with later tasks while failure leads to unhappiness and difficulty with the later task. Kindly reflect on the following points. Suggest any two measures to help the adolescents to overcome their emotional disturbances. What are your plans to bring out the all-round development in your students? These books you can refer for further information. Thank you for listening. Wish you all good luck.